guys, it's been like a crazy couple of uh, weeks here, a couple of months, whatever. It's just been non-stop. Non-stop. I'm kind of mad at YouTube right now because they like uh, took away the ability for people to find my Corgi Kisses video, which is like my highest rated video and it went viral and that's that's not cool. And I've contacted them several times about it. Nothing ever gets resolved or done. What happened was it was flagged with um, copyright for a song that doesn't even exist in the video. My TV was on in the background and it was dialogue. And it's a 31 second video of me like being retarded with my dog. And they're like, okay, well we're gonna make take this off of the search. And even when you search it, when you search Corgi Kisses, my video still is the highest one out of all of the videos that are there. And I'm just disgruntled about that, so. You suck, YouTube. And then the whole shooting happened at YouTube, so mwah, no remorse on that front. Nobody died, so it's okay. Although I did hear in Illinois that there was a attempt in school shooting and there was a badass, um, what was it? It was an ex-military lady. She was like the PE teacher and she fucking disarmed a bitch, the shooter guy. That should have made the news. To me, that stuff should have made the news. That's awesome. If you have a badass out there, it's fucking disarming shooters. Of course, they don't want to encourage that, but if that's what you need to do, put a fucking Marine up in the schools. Marines are awesome. Put a Ranger in there. Do something. Get somebody who knows how to disarm patrolling. So, that was my disgruntledness about YouTube. And, speaking of gore and loveliness, this past, um, this past few weeks, something, something crazy, crazy happened in my life. Um, I had to clean up a dead body, which is wonderful. And it was, it wasn't like somebody had killed themselves. And we had an ordeal where there was, we had to wait for the coroner to come out and everything and get um, the body out of there. But after there, somebody has like a homicide or a suicide or something, they don't clean up the scene. They just leave it the way it is. They don't give a shit. There is something called forensic cleaners, but they are crazy expensive. And yeah, they kind of just leave the cleanup to you. So yeah, that's a had to deal with that and somebody uh, put a shotgun to their face and blew their head off and we had to clean that up. That's pretty gross. But uh, I put a hazmat suit on. I was like, nope, I'm putting a suit, getting goggles, putting gloves, getting rain boots, duct taping everywhere. I don't know what kind of nasty blood particles is in this person's blood. I didn't know the person. That's why I believe in euthanasia. If you're really that suffering and you're done with life, give people an out. Why not? It's their choice. If they want to go with dignity, let them go. Who are you to tell people to stay alive? We didn't choose life. Our parents chose life for us. Not everybody is so happy with life. Life is not a happy thing. It's very random and very bullshitty. Some people are not as resilient as, as others, and they really suffer. And I mean, if we see things that are suffering like that, we're nicer to our animals than we are to our people. Like seniors. Jesus Christ, the whole idea of a hospice is, is cruel. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. Terrible. We don't, we don't need all these people in the world. I do not like peoples and I don't mind the peoples being weeded out a little bit and population being controlled a little bit more. I am a fan of the deaths so it's fine. Doesn't mean I'm gonna go out and kill people but I'm good. My solution to everything? Sterilization. Sterilize motherfuckers. Why not? I think you should prove, you should have like a fucking stack of paperwork saying that you have the means to take care of a child. 
instead of just having children and then having people throw money at you, the government. Oh, you have kids, you're pregnant, here's health care, here's everything that you need to take care of, whatever. It's so stupid. But if you're single and you don't have anything, then you're up the creek without a paddle. That's bias, and that's discrimination, and I don't appreciate that at all. Especially people who are trying to make something of themselves and their lives, and they're trying to become, like, productive members of society. That's, that's, that's a little, that's a little rough. When they have no, no assistance, when you're trying to, like, go through college. There, I've heard that there were scholarships now where people are actually giving food away instead of money. Because they know that people who try to go to college, it's all, it's all just money, man. Everything is about money. And if you can't afford it, then you're going to live a blue-collar life forever because that's all you'll ever obtain because they have roadblocks about everything. Everything requires a license. Everything requires education. It's so stupid. So stupid. I mean, what the fuck? You need a license to get married? That's stupid. You need a license for everything. You need a license to drive. You need a license to carry. You need a license to practice whatever the fuck. It's retarded. It's just means of control. That's all it is. Control and regulate. Now, I get some licenses. I understand that. Like, you should. But the thing is, you can teach people stuff. You don't need to jump through 500 million hoops to have, to be able to do something. I, I don't, I don't get that. You can teach people stuff. People didn't have licenses back in the day. They were doing a job. You're blocking people from attaining to have a business. Like, it's so hard, because everything is regulated, and the government controls everything. Like, you need so many permits, and so many licenses, and, like, your business license, and this, and that, and it's just so stupid. Mm. Disgruntled. I am disgruntled today. But I should not be. It's a Friday. Friday is good. Ba-ba-ba, there's a FRS in front of me. Oh, I saw a Viper at the car meet the other day. It's freaking awesome. I like cars. Cars are, have always been a thing. The Dodge Viper's always gonna be my favorite. Sorry, I'm so negative. That's just part of my blackened heart. Wouldn't be like that if the world wasn't such shit. That's what I'm blaming on, I'm blaming on the world. Blame it on the world. No, don't get me wrong, not all of it's bad. There's a lot of good. Not a lot, but there is some good. How about that? Correct myself. There is some good in the world. And that is... It's definitely not worth all of the bad. No, 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 no. People like to say that, oh, well, some good in the world is... It just makes life worth it. No, it doesn't. People are lying to you. Don't let them fool you with their stupid optimism. It's all a bunch of shit. Our existence is nothing. You need to realize that. If you cannot handle that, well, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm I'm perfectly okay with knowing that my existence is going to be nothing. I will not be remembered after a couple of generations, and then I will be lost in time. So will 90% of the people who are on the globe. Unless you're famous or have done something profound to change humanity, you will not be remembered. Your life is meaningless. You're just going through the daily struggles. Which, that's, that's what I think about. Like, a thousand, two thousand years from now? People aren't going to remember anything. They're going to look back at us and go, what the hell, man, they had a crazy hard life. Just like we look back at like the Renaissance age or thousands of years prior to us and we look back and then we're like, how did they live? They had nothing. They had no electricity, they had no means to do anything, there was medical bullcrap, they tortured everybody, like I don't, we can't comprehend even living in that time period. We make movies about it all kinds because we're fascinated by it, but we, we don't really know how it was like to live like that. That's that's a hard living. They had no technology. They had nothing. Nothing. 
That is pretty difficult life. If you ask me, I wish I was frozen and then got chipped to the future like Hope from Final Fantasy 13. That would be cool. I want to see what, how they, how they live. What would be, because I would be a relic at that time if I unfreeze myself, kind of like Faye from Cowboy Bebop. They would be all different because I wouldn't, I'd just wake up and then everything would be topsy-turvy. I think they did that in the Star Trek Next Gen episode. Pretty sure they did. But... That is one thing that I would like to do with my life. I don't think I have enough money to do so, but... It'd be interesting to see what mankind turns into. If anything, we could just blow ourselves up and die. That's also equally uh, okay with me. Planet Earth will live on. I wonder what will be the next species. What will... I'm watching a lot of space documentaries. So I'm watching how the universe works. Which is pretty awesome. Just just saying, like some of that stuff is crazy. And you can't wrap your head around it. There's just no way. We we as uh, humans cannot comprehend a lot of these kind of weird ideas that don't fit into our normal rules. There's a lot of concepts that break the rules or are just really so far-fetched that we cannot see past our own reality. Kind of what, what is like, like a fan type thing. But it's really cool to think about. I'm, I'm not sure if I can fully, fully get there. It's crazy to think about, but I do believe that there are other universes and stuff like that. Parallel, parallel timelines with different things going on. It's quantum physics, man. That's kind of, that, that shit's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's my spew. Quantum physics, YouTube rant, and somebody blew their brains out and we had to clean brain matter. That was so fun for me. Oh, man. Oh, that was great. Oh. My life is crazy. I hope you guys understand this. I'm like insane crazy. There's the reason for the way that I am. No yellow light. I do not want to stop. Thanks so. though. Appreciate the suggestion. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay, I'm gonna go on the freeway now so I cannot talk. I will talk to you guys later. And have a good day. And I love y'all. Thank God it's Friday. Maybe I'll be a little bit more positive in my next video. Woo, positivity. I really am happy with my life though. Let's end, end, end it on that note. I have accomplished a lot and I am thankful for a lot of stuff in my life, but it took a lot of hard ass work and that's, that's the difference. That is the difference. I'll talk about that in another video.